this is such a cool pose because there's so much movement in the piece and get the balance and the stretch right to go to the next pose which is going to be a pose that plays with a roundness of this form here so she'll probably be seated you know it's different strokes for different people and I I'm trying to over a period of time have people my students fall in love with the process as much as the product because everyone takes their work home to their spouse and their spouse is a lay person and they look at this and say this sucks I don't understand it then they think it sucks so they stop working that way and that everything kind of stays in this eternal loop of um, predictability I, I use the analogy all the time of being like a dog you know just react being totally in the moment so you're reacting to the chipmunk running across the ground and then totally involved with the scoop in the food and then totally involved with the new kid that walks in the yard and this total involvement and not judging what you're doing and that's hard I can tell when a student has worked with Andy because they're on fire when they come out of here like he does he's an he's a teacher but he's you know, 90% of what he does is artistic motivation. Okay, um, let's drop down to that second pose again. One of the reasons I work with multiple images is actually a, a reminder of the fact that I'm, I've always, I started painting as an abstract artist and it's really not about the figure, it's about, well it's always about the figure, but it's about letting the, letting the observer find the figure. If everything's out there, we kind of lose interest in it. So I find ways to hide the figure with another figure so you see little bits, reveals of it. And if we can discover it, it's a lot more exciting than if it's just all out there for us to see.